Hey guys, what's going on? It's Savage Arkham here. And today we're going to be talking about the killing joke in the Joker, or did Batman kill the Joker? Now, basically what we're doing right now is this is Batman week. Everybody that's new, everybody that's new, this is Batman week. And we're going to be talking about maybe four to five minute long conversations about what happens in certain topics of Batman. So the first thing is, let's get into this, the Joker. Uh, so in the killing joke... Of course, we all know what happens. Joker tries to drive Jim Gordon insane and basically prove that even the most sanest, nicest man alive can be driven insane because of one bad day. Kind of like how uh, the Joker was. Basically, you know, he, he had a great life, a great family, or at least starting to have a great family, but the only he didn't have a great life. Okay, <laughs> I'll take about the great life thing, you know. He had a decent life, a, a decent life. Uh, trying to be a stand-up comedian after he quit from a uh, chemical factory. So, you know, he did it, He needed the money. And, you know, Batman is probably one of the reasons why, you know, he turned into the Joker. Uh, a lot of people don't agree with the killing joke origins of the Joker, but I do. I believe those are the origins, but that's not the point. So at the end of the comic, you're going. Uh, Batman's going through this type of uh, amusement, like scary type of horror attraction thing. A murderous death trap filled with, like, you know, different objects and uh, trap doors and pits of needles. and I mean, not needles, but, you know, pits, pits, pits of hazardous stuff. You know, horrible things that could kill him. And Joker's just basically talking about, oh, uh, what turns you what you are today? You had one bad day. You are already insane. I don't need to basically turn you insane because you already had a bad day. Was it like a, uh, what would he say? I think it's like brother killed by the mob or or wife killed by something. You know, basically what made Batman what he is today is like almost exactly the same of the Joker. You know, it's just one bad day. And Batman kind of, Batman's kind of like, this needs to stop. This needs to stop. Either way, one of us are going to die. And at the end of the comic, Joker basically is telling the joke about two men of the insane asylum. A lot of people know this. It's like one of the most iconic moments of ever in comics. And, you know, Batman starts to laugh after a joke. And they both share a laugh. And Batman just reaches over and, and basically, like, chokes the Joker. It looks like he's choking the Joker, right? Batman looks like he's going insane. I mean, basically, think about it. Joker killed... No, no wait. Was this before or after? I think it's after. Uh, you know, Joker shot Barbara. And paralyzed Barbara... Parvo is basically paralyzed. Put Jim Gordon through all this torture stuff. I mean, took pictures of Barbara Gordon naked, and they don't, like, Batman and Joker don't even know each other. So, you know, I could see why Batman would do it. But at the same time, you know, I don't think it would, it would really be that important. But, you know, whatever. I think he did. I think Batman snapped his neck. Uh, I think Batman snapped Joker's neck. Now, a lot of people are like, hey. Okay, so this is uh, editing Marcel. It's pretty early here, and uh, what I was saying, what I was trying to do was basically, I forgot to mention this, but the title, <laughs> Stupid Marcel forgot to mention that the title is The Killing Joke, and I wrote it down, but I forgot it, and I was like, well, if it's The Killing Joke, then then this is the joke that Joker tell, tells, and Batman is basically, you know, he's like, oh, this is his final joke. This is The Killing Joke. Once he tells the joke, I'm killing him. I, I totally forgot about that part. I was trying to write it down. It was too late. Uh, sorry for that. Sorry for all the stutters and stuff like that in this video. I didn't really mean to. It's just in the middle. Sorry. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy the rest of the video. My bad. Hey, why, well, well, why? Well, because, you know, the laughing just abruptly stops. I know there's no crack on the on the comic book panel, but still, it, it's, it's really, like, emotional and, and terrifying. Batman's laughing reaching over and it looks like he's just he's going crazy so he snaps his neck and stops laughing and it, it makes the most sense right i mean batman has gone through so much with the joker and now he wants revenge and that's how he's gonna get it he's going to snap the joker's neck and kill him and that's why the abrupt ending in the uh you know just the flat out end of the entire comic is nothing it's just just rain and starts over again. So, you know, I do believe Batman killed... I mean, even Alan Moore, I believe. Was it Alan Moore? I'm pretty sure it was Alan Moore even said, um, you know, he killed the Joker. He, uh, at least Alan Moore thought. Or it was Alan Moore 
It was someone. You know what I mean. But, you know, it's crazy because even comic book writers think that Batman killed the Joker. Uh, Batman just went so insane and, and just like couldn't t- take it anymore. So he reached over, started laughing even louder and louder and louder, and the police sirens coming towards them, and snap. Like, it's, it makes very good sense. Um, you know... I believe he did. A lot of people don't. That's them. That's me. Who knows? Tell me what you guys thought. (laughs) Tell me what you guys think happened in the comments below. Do you think that Batman killed the Joker at the end of the killing joke? This was Batman Week, guys. We still got another freaking 13 videos to go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.